from Kramer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Rionic Industries is receiving both national and international interest in its newly developed pipeline inspection robot. Keith Campbell reports. The robot has designated the RMIS Crawler System, RMIS standing for Rionic Modular Inspection System. Ryan Beach is the Managing Director and Chief Roboticist of Rionic, and he tells us about the development of the company and of the robot. The company originally started to import robotics for heavy industries, but we discovered the need for locally produced robotics um, because of the cost of imports, and we also noticed that there was a lack of skills in the country to develop these technologies. So we decided to, to start developing robotics locally. Um, it's, it's very much aimed currently at heavy industries like mining, pipeline, shipping, petrochemical plants. But long term we are looking at various other industries as well, commercial um, and other robotics applications. The RMIS platform is a robotics platform. It's been developed its first application is for pipelines, but we can adapt it for other applications. Um, it's a crawler robot, so we use it and we send it down a pipe and on top of it we add various sensors such as LiDAR, sonar, ring lasers. We can do non-destructive testing, we can do steel thickness testing of pipes. Um, it could just be visual inspections. So it's a vehicle to, to acquire data, it's used for data acquisition. Traditionally, humans went into a lot of these dangerous situations, so the technology also removes people from dangerous situations. So you don't send the guy down a pipe anymore, we now send the robot down the pipe. Um, or in a mine, you can, can send it to do search and rescue, or just go do geographic surveying, um, analysis. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very much to remove humans out of, out, of, out of dangerous situations and also to do a lot of data acquisition. We've been busy with the, the RMIS now for almost two years. Um, so we've spent the, the majority of the last two years doing R&D testing. We've done a lot of on-site testing. Um, we've done almost 50,000 meters of pipeline that we've done part of the testing. Um, but yeah, all in all about two years. We launched the product in July this year and we've already received huge international interest. There's a company from Denmark flying out next month to look at the technology. Locally a lot of uh, pipeline inspection companies have shown interest and we've already received orders locally. Um, but yeah, in the short, short period that we've marketed it, it's, it's been amazing the, the interest. Other news making headlines this week. Africa's brightest youth brainstorm solutions to socio-economic challenges and gas gensets a sustainable power alternative. 100 of Africa's most innovative youth gathered at the Brightest Young Minds 2016 Summit held in Johannesburg last month to discuss and find innovative solutions for Africa's socio-economic challenges. BYM is a 16-year-old non-profit public benefit organization and what we are is a platform to identify, connect and mobilize the next generation of leaders who are actually innovative and action-oriented. Often when we say brightest young minds, people think, oh, we look for the most academically gifted. While a lot of our alumni and delegates are incredibly intelligent and academically inclined people, we, we look for individuals that are action-oriented, as, as I just said, guys that have a demonstrated track record of getting things done. Engine filtration and power generation product manufacturer Cummins notes that gas power gensets are a sustainable power solution owing to natural gas being methane rich and occurring naturally. Essentially the days of, of mega power plants, mega power plants will always be required but uh, there's also a need to build smaller distributed plants which means that you're actually taking the power to the people um, and that's where gas really plays a, a role. It's also uh, far more, uh, you know, the, the emissions are far more acceptable uh, against international norms both now and going forward. Um, it's also, uh, there's less noise. Uh, and one of the main advantages of gas power plants is that you can take the heat of the exhaust and the engine cooling and you can use that heat either to uh, for heating applications, for exa example a hospital with a laundry or, or um, sterilization purposes etc. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.